welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be testing out makeup products that claim to be 24-hour wear and see if they really do last 24 hours. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I tested out makeup products that claim to be waterproof, and we saw if they really were waterproof or not. And it got me thinking about all the claims that makeup makes, and I just feel like Makeup that says that it can last for 24 hours is just one of the most excessive claims that there is. But if a makeup product is going to claim that it lasts for 24 hours, I still want to know if it really can. So I went out and I picked up a full face of makeup, products that claim they're going to last a whole day, 24 hours, and I'm going to put them on my face and I'm going to wear them for a whole 24 hours and we're going to see if they can really hold up to that claim or not. So let's go ahead and do this thing. All right, let's jump right into foundation. By the way, I'm using all products from the drugstore. But if you like this video and you're interested in seeing a high-end version, give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below. So for foundation, I am using the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation. Claims to last for 24 hours. I am wearing the color 110 Ivory and I'm just going to apply this with a beauty blender. Coming next in with concealer, I am also using the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. This also claims to be 20 24 hours. I'm wearing the color 01 Fair, and I was actually surprised this is the lightest color in the collection, but it's still a little bit on the dark side for my preferred concealer color, but we'll go ahead and do it anyways. It's a little bit on the sheer side for a concealer, but you can build it up. So the, for the products that I typically use in my routine that I couldn't find 24 hour versions, I'm just going to throw in my usual ones so that we can just really test out the specific products that claim to last 24 hours, if that makes sense. So I'm setting my concealer with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder. For brows, I could not find a 24 hour brow product, product so I'm using just a little brow gel. And jumping into eyeshadows, I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. These claim to be able to last 24 hours because they're actually made with some sort of oil. I was like reading about it on the website and it said it has some sort of oil that's built into it that allows it to last for 24 hours. So I have the color Iced Latte that I'm applying all over my lids. And then I also grabbed a darker color bronze taupe and I'm going to work this into my outer corner. Coming in with eyeliner, I have the Maybelline Eye Studio Blackest Black Gel Liner, and I'm just going to use the little brush that it comes with to go for a nice winged liner look. All right, I'll finish off with some blush and some bronzers. I didn't find any that claim to be 24 hour wear. All right, for mascara, this is the Rimmel Super Curler Mascara, which claims to not just last for 24 hours, but also hold a curl for 24 hours. And last but not least, for lips, I picked up the, the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Color. I've never owned one of these, but I feel like they've been around for like 15 years, because I'm pretty sure my mom used to wear these, but it claims to last for 24 hours, and I figured I would try it out. It's a two-sided product, so one side is the color, you apply it to your lips, you let it sit it for about two to three minutes and dry. It feels really weird while it's drying. And then you come in with this clear balm, which adds moisture back to your lips. And then you can apply the balm throughout the day when your lips are feeling dry. And there we have it, a full face, well, almost a full face of products that claim they're going to stay on my skin for 24 hours. So you can see here that it is currently 7.15 a.m. on a Thursday morning, and we'll see if at 7.15 on Friday morning, this makeup is still in place. So I'm just gonna take you with me throughout um, a typical day, and we'll see how this makeup lasts. Hello? Yeah, I'll be right there. All right, I got you. All right, Mrs. Smith, here's your cat. Stop letting him climb up in trees, okay? Mr. Obama. Um, yeah, no, this this is a good time to talk. It's, I'm not that busy. Oh. Alright, only kidding. Here's what my day really looked like. Let's be brand Alright guys, it is 12.15 right now. Right away, I can tell you that everything feels really dry. My lips are also super dry, so I'm gonna put some of that conditioning stuff that comes with it on and see if that helps. There's a little bit of like black just under my eyes. I think it's from the eyeliner, 
the eyeliner is still mostly intact it's faded a tiny bit um, so I'm going to just put on that stuff on my lips hope that makes it feel a little moisturized and I will check in with you guys in about four more hours when I get out of work um, but everything on my face is about where it was last time I checked in with you my lips got super dry I've applied that like moisturizing balm to it twice and every time I do that it does help so I'm gonna do a couple of errands and then Michael and I are probably gonna go out to dinner it is currently 9 40 I'm just getting ready for bed and there's nothing I want to do more than just wash this makeup off of my face at this point but I'm gonna stick with it I'm pretty sure the foundation is pretty much worn off the only contenders left in this sort of battle at this point are the lips. The lips are still there. They're not like the full color that they were. They're not quite as pigmented. And then the eyes. The mascara is still there. It's fully intact and it's keeping my eyelashes curled. The liner is about the same place that it was when I checked in with you guys back at like lunchtime. And then the eyeshadow has faded a little. But I'm going to go to sleep now. All right. It is about six. 50, so it's been just under 24 hours, but I figured we could go ahead and check this makeup out. All right, I think we covered yesterday that the foundation and the concealer were not 24 hours. My eyeshadow is still mostly there. I would say it's faded like 25% in the pigmentation color. Eyeliner is still mostly there as well. It's definitely faded throughout the day, but I'm impressed that like the shape of my wing is still there. Mascara to me is like the most impressive one. Not that I didn't think the mascara would last because it's just one of those products that tend to stick around. But what I'm most impressed about is that my lashes are still like fully curled. And lips. Besides the fact that they feel like the Sahara, there's basically still almost a full color on my lip. It's faded a little bit on the inner corners, as you can see. However, at this point, it does feel really, really dry. All right, so there you have it with this little beauty experiment. We tested out these products to see if they really could last 24 hours. If you want to check out that waterproof makeup tested video I was talking about, you can see it right here. But as always, thanks so much for stopping by and watching, and I will see you all in my next video. This is the Super Curler Mascara Volume and Core. What the fuck is a core? Oh, whoops, it's a different language. Okay. <sighs> I cannot wait to just go and like exfoliate my skin for 12 years. And I will see you all in the morning. I think you're still recording. Thanks, baby. Hey. There's a schmutz on there. There's schmutz on there. We don't want that.